I'm Karen Sawyer, and I am a board member with Read USA. But more importantly, I am a parent. Today, we are going to talk about selecting books. I hope that you and your child have had a chance to watch the Read Alouds found on the Read USA website. Hopefully, these tips will help you select your next Read Aloud to watch. Do you have a favorite outfit or a favorite pair of shoes? When you go clothes shopping, is there a brand, style, or color of clothes that you usually like more than others? As adults, we have certain likes and dislikes that shape the clothes we wear, the television shows and the movies we watch, and the books we read. These likes and dislikes start developing at a young age. So this leads me to my first tip on selecting a book for your child. This should be an activity done together. Your child needs to have the ability to choose the books that they are interested in reading. I am enough. This is the book you chose today. Why did you choose this book? Why did you want to pick this one to read tonight? Because it looks like me. Oh, you think she looks like you? Yeah, she does look like you. Your hair is almost the same sometimes. You have the same color skin. So let's see what this is about. If a child chooses the book, they are more likely to read the book and engage in the lessons of the book. A child's interests are constantly changing, and we should encourage them to experience new things and explore new topics. And a book is such a powerful tool to help with this growth. This book choice goes hand in hand with my second tip, the most important thing is not whether it is on their exact reading level, but if they want to read it. I love reading picture books with older children that clearly are able to read chapter books. You can learn so much through a picture book, such as how to write a story or discuss an emotion. These can lead to some great impact. And graphic novels are a wonderful option for anyone. Graphic novels have a wide range of reading level because you not only read the words, but have to interpret the pictures. So don't ever be afraid to curl up with a book that you might think is too hard or too easy for your child. Our lives are busy. We have work, after school activities, homework, not to mention the cooking and the cleaning and the laundry. It might seem difficult to find time to have your child choose a book. I love to schedule some time every couple of months to visit the library with my child. When you are at the library, you can explore books and see what interests your child. Then keep a list of the books that he or she really liked. In between library visits, simply stop by the library and grab a book that was on the list. Also, there are many of those little free library boxes all around town that you might find a book at that was on your list. These little treasure hunts are an exciting and fun way to spend some quality time with your child while finding book treasures. You can meet new people, visit faraway places, and learn new skills all in the pages of a book. I hope that you enjoy sharing these times with your child. Remember that book choice plus book access equals a love of reading. Thank you for watching this Read USA parent video about book selection. Feel free to use these tips with any of the books from the Read Aloud videos or your own books. If you liked this video, please be sure to check out our other videos on the Read USA website.